Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and all you beaver lovers out there. We are mid facility at the bottom of our heavy off road track, getting ready to bring you some real pretty trucks today. It's Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds Stone Road Challenge, folks. And we've got jewelry trucks this time an M2, a green light, and an auto world all going head to head to head to see who can make it down with the fastest time. All coming up on Beaverworks Diecast racing vehicles we've had this guy on the stone road before did pretty good so he's a good benchmark to set up for the other two that are going to be coming up in behind him beautiful looking casting details are amazing and does well on the road First time for the Jimmy on the Stone Road. This thing looks beautiful. Look at the front end on that thing. It's got the rubber wheels and the chrome mags. Got some good weight. Should do real good. Classic Chevy Stepside. Look at the size of the wheels on this guy. Auto World did a beautiful job. This is the first Auto World we've had here at the Igloo Proving Grounds. Done some good runs. See how it does today. They are up against the Beaver Works Stone Road Challenge. This is our heavy off-road course here at the Igloo Proving Ground. It is 150 centimeters of rocks, curves, and aggregate. One point for crossing the finish line at the bottom. That is if you can make it. One point for the longest distance. That's either after the line or going down the hill. And one point for the fastest time. Each vehicle gets two passes. Right, right, right. right. Igor, in-house driver, is going to be taking the big old Chevy Cheyenne, the M2 machines, going down. Here he is, off the line. Nice start. He's getting on top of the rocks. What you got to do is bouncing around. He's throwing material all over the place, and it kind of gets into the log and jams. Jams up in the end of the logs. Coming into the logs, he's got great speed, and for some reason, he's sitting here right in front of the announcer stand. Stop there at the end of the logs like he got binded up, or there's something wrong with the truck, or it conked out, or he just stopped to say hello. Not exactly sure. No good for the score. Comes out with 138 centimeters. It's uh, just about all the way down the track, but didn't make it that last little bit. That log hazard, it's a complete mystery. You never know what's going to happen when you go inside there it's all loose they'll slide around kick around grab on to you and it looks like it's exactly what they did to this uh igor run coming down in that big old chevy m2 machines right there looks like he's going to make it and just putters out right there in front of the stand there it is 138 centimeters for the m2 right right two, two. In-house driver Cindy Sixpack, the legends, getting ready to take that Jimmy down because they're both dressed up the same. All right, off the line. Let's see how this thing does. The green light coming down. Great paint job. They all look excellent. Oh, no, it's up on its side. She got little bouncy coming down at halfway mark and buried it right in the deep stuff. Right on its side. Looks like she's in there pretty good, too. All right, there it is. Look how deep that front end is buried right there gnarly run that was going down we took the top off this but he figured it was going to pop off anyways and yep she would have threw it right there on the side there it is top down bottom up view two different angles on that one coming out with a distance of 91.5 centimeters and not a full run stone road is doing nothing but pulling dnfs out today that means it's mean it wants to flip you over it wants to take that truck and just get it upside down before you get over top of the line that's attitude now that the stone road challenge is all about here people works right there buried in the rocks cindy six pack taking that green light down there gets 91.5 centimeters run right three Donald and Daryl going to be taking that big auto world step side. What a beautiful looking rig this is. Jewelry trucks are amazing. We could not help but get them out of the package, get them down on the stone road. And look at this guy go. He's going nice. He's flew through the deep stuff. Now he's getting slowed up in the slowed up in the logs again, coming through and he's like, he stopped again. He's right in front of the stand. Everybody is not making it through the Stone Road today, folks. It's three DNFs in a row. Two have stopped directly in front of the stand here like we're handed out ice cream. All right, checking out the top down, bottom up cam. Can't tell what was going on. Looked like it was doing good. And then again, hung up just before the line. 142 centimeters. This whole run's only 150 centimeters. Just about gets it there, but our third DNF of the day already. Checking out the Igloo replay, bouncing around, getting 
through that rocky part. Looks awesome. Come on, tell me this thing is look great. Gets real deep right there, slows him down, loses some momentum. That didn't help at all. And then you get the little flat section here. Gives you a little run before you come onto those rocks. And that's what kind of slowed him down. That was the beginning of the end. Comes up right in front of the stand and looks like a truck stalled. Eight feet short of glory. Had it has been nothing but DNFs in the first round. There's the Chevy Silverado at 142 centimeters. And that looks like it's going to be the only point given out here with the longest distance in the first round. All right. M2 Machines making some sweet looking rides there. That awesome looking Challenger right there. Beaverworks International. We got Gravity Throttle Racing carrying on with their Baja Bouncer Tournament. Igor Beavor gets the chance and he's going down through his first actual race and uh, got hung up there on that corner. It looks like there was a big battle going through the uh, whole drifting, excellent drifting, and uh, ended up getting DNF'd on that round. And that was a kind of a curse through the rest of the day. Here he Igor gets tied up. Another DNF. This round, everybody kind of DNF'd right here. And uh, Igor's making a good battle for it right there. He's coming underneath the bridge. Does get enough gusto and then craps out right underneath our own advertising sign right there. Ended up with 14 points overall. So that was it. Go check out Gravity Throttle Racing for the Baja Bouncer Tournament. It looks awesome. And don't forget to support the channel here. You can subscribe. You can grab that like button or even the super thanks option. And there is still the Beaver Works store over there, folks. You can go over there and check out a uh, sticker or uh, maybe a shirt, something like that. All right. Run right. four. Moving along, second run in the Chevy Cheyenne. We got Igor going to take this thing down. See if he can make it to the bottom for the first time out of any vehicle on this run today. Here he goes. Look at that. He's on top of it, getting good speed, bouncing around like crazy through the lines. Look at that. He whipped one right into the crowd, made it through. He's over with a seven, whoops, 6.74 time. And uh, looks like he fired a log right out of the pit. And it looks like it hit somebody right in the head. Here, check this out. And, uh, yep, 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 yep. That was definitely a spectator taking a log in the face over there. We're going to get the, uh, cruise over to make sure he's going to be okay. There it is. Top down, bottom up view. Right through. You see a log flying off and just smacking the spectators. But still, we made it to the bottom. He's got a 15.5 centimeter bonus distance out the bottom side. First truck of the day. First injury of the day. Nothing but first coming in after the break there. Check out the Eagle replay coming down. He's bouncing. Look at that big bounce right there in kitchen. Air of all four tires just blasts right through the deep section. Grabs onto that log, fires that over into the crowd, says, hey, wake up, buddy, and he is over top of the line. Great run by Igor in that big M2 Chevy. Run, run five. five. Six pack in ready to take that Jimmy, the green light, the black and red, beautiful paint job with the chrome mags, all the raised white lettering on those things. They go out of their way for the details on these ones as well. And she's cutting down through it, down over top of the deep stuff, coming into the log section. Is she going to make it to the She's pulling it. It made it into the log section. And after that is it. She didn't make it to the end. Made it through the log section. That thing was just struggling all of the way. And there is another truck stop right in front of the stand here. Checking out the top down, bottom up. Can't even see that thing dragging on the bottom end. Just quite not enough clearance there. Struggling all the way. Gets 141 centimeters. That's it for the run there, folks. Checking out the Igloo replay. Down off to start getting up on top of the rocks like the first part of the course you can tell it's already digging in already starting to get binded up underneath the bottom of that truck you should be up on top of that aggregate just bouncing along it by now but not quite gets into the deep stuff and that's where it really gets bound up coming into the flat area almost at a dead stop right there but she just manages to power that jimmy through it that's all it hit, had though got into the logs got too slowed up too much confusion going on there and that was the end of the line for the Green light blazer right there. Green light Jimmy. Jimmy blazer, same thing. 141 centimeters and a TNF. Run, run six. Here we go. Last run of the day, kids. It's going to be that Chevy Silverado from Auto World. Still can't get over how beautiful this truck actually looks for a step side. The tailgate works. The hood works. He's gone. He's going down, bouncing along, getting into it. Straight out the bottom and just about... 
No way! Wipes out right in front of the announcer stand. This is another DNF up on its side. It looked like it was going to make it for sure. Not getting it there. Daryl had it. He had it all the way down and then at the last second just choked on the last few feet over top of the line. Even had the momentum to get over there. Just couldn't keep it on its wheels. Couldn't keep it stable over top of the logs. He's coming at 146 centimeters. This line is only 150. What a burn that was all right checking at run out from the top this auto world was doing great throwing rocks getting on top of it making it look awesome and then through the logs started getting squirrely got sideways and it went over right in front of us and that's the end of the auto world's run right there 146 centimeters is going to be the distance for the last run of the day and that's not enough because it's going to be the m2 up at the top who in round number two pulled off an actual run got 15.5 bonus distance with a 6.74 time that means it's going to be three points for the chevy zero points for the jimmy and one point for the silver Colorado. M2 machines pulling it out in the end. Well, but the only one that made it down this time. There it is. Checking out that beautiful truck right there. Empty machines. Ever since they come out, the cars, the trucks, they roll good. They look good. And there's the auto world. We need to get a few more of those to try them out because again, beautiful castings there and the green light over there. Going to have to try something with some bigger wheels on it on the next try for that. All right, there you go. Jewel trucks all three different makes right there all gorgeous looking on the shelf in the boxes but we don't do that here we make sure we run them down the track all right folks big beaver works shout out for all you coming out here and checking out our stuff from beaver works diecast racing we will see you next time